Hello everyone, this is Ankit Jain. I welcome you all to my channel Tech Journey with Ankit. In today's quick tech session, we will explore how we can use the lightning map inside the screen flow. As we all know that out of the box, Salesforce does not provide the map component. But let's say we do have a kind of a requirement where we have to load the map based on the user input inside the flow. In such scenarios, how you can integrate the lightning web component and the flows to meet this requirement. Before I go and show you how we can implement it, let me show you what kind of output that you can expect by the end of this session. So let me take you to my screen now. Here you can see as a user, I can go and input all the address detail and the expectation here is as soon as the address detail has been entered, the map should come up. For the demo purpose, here I am entering the address of Taj Mahal. So let me go and put it here. The address of Taj Mahal city. Let me put as an Agra postal code. I am not familiar. So 282001. State definitely Uttar Pradesh. Uh, then I go and type it. Let me copy it from here and put it here. And the country will be India. You can see here as soon as I have feed all the details, the map is coming up here. And here you can see it is pointing the Taj Mahal which is the wonder of the world, right? So we have to go and implement this component by using the both the screen flow as well as the lightning web component. So let's go towards the implementation part and we will do this step by step. To get started, let's go and first create the lightning web component here. So here I am creating the lightning web component that is the display map. We all know that Salesforce have provided out of the box component to display the map. That is nothing but the lightning map. So let's refer the lightning map from the component library. I already opened this lightning component library here and here I'm looking for the map. So here I go and look for the map and this is the page where I'll be navigating. You can see that we do have the map component from the Salesforce. Now here I'm using the same component to render it based on the user input. So here I am putting the template details in case you wants to put some additional detail you can navigate to the specification and here you do have all the properties which is supported by the lightning map i want to use one more property here that is nothing but a zoom level now what is zoom level zoom level will define how much your map should be zoom on the ui again we do have some specific values for both a desktop as well as for the mobile in the desktop the value should be in the range of 1 to 22 and for mobile the value should be in the range of 1 to 20. So what I am doing here is I am putting the value here, let's say 15 value, right? So my map can be zoomed properly till 15 level. Now another property that we have to define here is the map marker. Map marker will define how your map should be loaded, right? Where actually the marker should come up. Again, the map marker have the proper structure. You have to define an array and inside the array you have to have the object. Again, you can have one object or you can have more than one objects as well. If you navigate to this page, Salesforce have put the examples for both. These are the this, is, this should be your object and these are the properties that you must populate inside the object. So what I am doing here is for the time being, I am using the same template as my base, as my starting point and then we'll go and try to implement it. So let me go and select this. And let me navigate to the JavaScript file and pasting it here right let's say i don't want to directly paste it here i want to do this with the help of getter method because there are few values that i have to populate dynamically based on the values that i'm getting from the flow so this is the reason i am doing it with the help of the getter method so here i put the getter method let me put, convert this into the getter method form Right. So what my getter method will do in the getter method, I do have the structure that I have to return to the UI. Right. What I have done again, let me repeat one more time. I have taken the map marker structure from here and put that map marker structure inside the getter method. I have not done any additional thing as of now. Right. Now, the next thing that I am doing here is I want these values, street, city, country, title and description. They should be populated from the flow. So what I have to do here is I have to get the values from the flow. For that, I have to expose these properties to the flow. We already discussed in our bootcamp session, whenever we have to expose outside the lightning web component, 
we should do that by using the public property and to define that public property we have to use the api decorator and for that i am using here the api decorator and defining the properties for all the values so let me put here at the rate api rate right uh, second one i am using at the rate api city third one i am using at the rate api country fourth one i am using here is at the rate api title and the last one at the rate api description i have defined all these properties rather than i go and use the hard coded value here let me go and pass this hard values this dot street this dot city this dot country let me put the c capital sorry c in the small case and after that i am putting here the this dot title as well as in the last i am putting the description as well we have to take all these inputs from our flow right so we got the all the all the values we have defined all the values here and my marker structure is ready right another thing that i want here is i want my map should be loaded only and only when user have input the value for street city and the country so i have to put that check as well so for that i am defining another method a getter method and let me uh, name the getter method as is map loaded you can give any other name as well that's completely fine now here i am checking that whether the user have entered the value for the street uh for the city as well as for the country or not if the user have entered the value for all those things then i want to return the true otherwise i want to return the false right otherwise i want to return the false now let's go and invoke this getter method from the ui and for that here i go and use the template lwc if and i am putting my condition here so when the values are available then and then only the lightning map will be invoked and my map will come up in the form of output now as i have to extend this component to the flow there are few specific configuration that we have to do at the lightning web component level and for that we have to navigate to the configuration file in the configuration file first thing that we have to do here is we have to go and expose this component so i am putting is expose as true after that if you want you can give the master label for your component as well again it is not mandatory but it's a good practice to do it so that during the configuration you can easily identify your component let me give the label name here as display map after that if you want you can also add the description but let so let me also add the description this component will be used to display map in screen flow okay there are few mandatory uh, targets that you should define here so let me go and put those targets here the target that you have to define if you have to expose your component on the screen flow is the lightning underscore underscore flow screen right another thing that we have to do here is we have to take the inputs from the flow and pass it to our lightning web component for that we have to also define the target configs and inside the target configs we have to decide the target config don't get confused here the value is configs here the value is config here you have to go and define the target for which you have to take the input so in my scenario i have to take the inputs from the lightning flow screen now for what all different inputs you have to define the value you can define all those properties here one after the other so here i am using the property in the property there are two things which are mandatory first is the name and the second is the type as you are using the property to take the inputs only there is one more property uh, attribute that you should use here is the role attribute this role attribute will define whether the property that you are defining here it is for the input purpose or for the output purpose or for the both if you are using here the value as input only then you can only take the inputs from those properties 
Similarly, the another value that you can use here as an output only as well. In such scenarios, that property can be used to output the value inside the out, uh, outside the uh, lightning web component and inside the flow. Third one, if you are not putting anything for the role, then that property can be used for both input as well as output. Here, I want to only take the inputs from this property. So I'm putting here the value as input here. In my scenario, all the properties, it is of type string. So I'm putting here the value as string. Now, the next thing that I have to do here is I have to define the this property for all these public properties. So let me go and put this name one after the other. The first one is the street. If you want to have the more user friendly name, you can also define the label as well. That is also the good practice to do. So let me put here the label is equal to uh, straight. Now let me go and repeat this for all the five properties. So first, second one is the city. Third one is the country. Fourth one is the title and last one is the description. Let me add some logical label here. So city, country, title and the description. One key note folks that you have to remember the API name as well as the name of the property. It should be the exactly same. Label is something that you are putting for the end user. So it can be different as well. But for your component to work as expected, you have to make sure that the name that you are putting up here inside your property and the API name, it must be exactly same. Now your Lightning Web component is ready. Let me go and deploy this. Meanwhile, it is deploying. Let's go and prepare your flow as well to take the inputs. So for that, again, I'm navigating to my org and here I'll be creating the new flow. I am selecting the screen flow here and clicking on create. I am creating the new screen. Let me name this screen as the display map component. Right? If you want, you can have the header. You can also take that out. If you don't want, if you don't want, you can also take out the footer as well. It's one and the same thing, right? Or let me go and put here the uh, address component because as I said, we have to take the address as an input. So I am using out of the box address component from here, right? Where the user will go and input their address. Let me give the API name to this as the input address. Now I want to display the address in the form of map. We have all created the component. My name of the component here is the display map. So let me look for that component here. That is the display map component. You can see here this component is coming up under the custom because we have created this component by using the lightning web component. So I am adding this component here that is the display map component. You can see all the properties that we have defined in our component. So let me give the API name to my component first. So my comp API name again you can give any name. So let me put here output map. And here to the city, whatever the values that user is entering in the address, we will pass those values here. So from under the screen component, we do have the input address from here. I am selecting the city. Likewise, I will go here and select the country select description. Let me put the hard coded description here. You can give any description. Let me give the description here as wonder of world. Treat. Uh, again, you can navigate here and put the straight title again you can give anything it's completely up to you so let me give the define the title here as Taj Mahal you can also dynamically populate this description and the title based on your business requirement for the time being I'm just hard coding this value here okay so my component is ready this is my screen is also ready let's click on done and save this so let me save this as the display map using LWC and click on save. Right? Let's go and try to debug this and validate whether the functionality is working as expected or not. So clicking on run 
let's go and enter the address one more time so here I go and put the it is Agra postal code let me copy it from here all the postal code doesn't matter because we are not taking the postal code as an input right so you can skip that part as well let me go and copy the Uttar Pradesh and country as India you can see that based on our input the map is loaded successfully and if I go and click on here the Taj Mahal wonder of the world is coming up right this is how folks you can use the functionality of the lightning web component inside the flows as well whenever you are looking for the component and that component is not available in your screen flow you can always out of the box design that component and you can integrate that component easily with the flow components as well i hope folks you found this session helpful and got some new learning from this session if yes make sure to like the video and also hit the subscribe button as well thank you have a good time folks